Hello everyone, it's Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with a, another box opening. This one is my third package from Youthful Fiber Mill. And I apologize for any noises you hear in the background. The dog is settling down to sleep. The cats have just been fed and are being a little wild. And the rabbit is the rabbit. She's always a little noisy, so it is what it is. Although I might have to drag Skipper out from wherever he is because he might be stuck, I'm not sure. Anyway, third package. So this is the January 2023 package. I'm just gonna get this open. No idea what is in these ones. As far as I know, she doesn't do any sort of spoiler emails or anything. So I never really know what's in these. There we go. So we've got four ounces of Texel wool roving. And this, what is this? This is a Notions tin. So it's got a fox and some yarn on it. You can keep your stitch markers and such in there. There. Ooh, a different paper this time. So we've got some beautiful white texel roving. So according to this, it's from Oregon originally. And she found fleeces at Oregon Flock and Fiber originally. So, Texel were a cross of Lincoln and Lester Longwool, from, and they were made in the Netherlands originally. They're a meat breed, so usually the wool is overlooked. However, um, the wool can be really nice. It tends to be in the high 20s to low 30s. And can tends to be good for hats, mitts, socks, and outerwear sweaters. Let's see. Staple length 3 to 4 inches, wavy crimp, low luster. I think it'll be fun to dye the finished yarn from this one. So yeah, um, I'm going to go get the wheel set up. And we'll just, you know, spin it white for now. And then we will dye the finished yarn after. is done. Uh, it has a really nice round ply to it after doing the end ply. Oh, what do other people call it? Chain plying. And I do like how it came out. Um, I haven't washed it yet, so the texture is not as nice as it will be. But I'm pretty sure that this will be a really lovely yarn after I wash it. Um, I'm not going to dye it in this video. I am going to toss it in a dye pot. In just a little short clip that you'll see later, but Right this moment, I'm not going to bother dyeing it. I have a lot going on over the next couple of weeks, which you will hear about soon enough, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.